Hello, Assalamualaikum. Uh, this is video on uh, chemical equation, chemistry form 4. Uh, in this video, I will explain on how to solve numerical, numerical stoichiometry problems. Okay, so before we start, first you have to memorize all these formulae. Eh? This uh, formula for number of moles, uh, if you are given mass of solid, so number of moles, you use the formula mass over molar mass. If you are given volume of gas, so you use formula volume over molar volume. If you are given number of particles or you are required to find the, you are asked to find the number of particles, so you use the formula uh, number of mole equals to number of particles over Avogadro constant. And another one, uh, formula for number of mole is mv over 1000. m stands for molarity or concentration of liquid and v is volume of liquid. Okay. Okay, here we have one uh, example in activity 3.20. Okay, the composition of calcium carbonate by heating is as follows. Eh? Calcium carbonate heated produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Now, what is the mass of calcium carbonate required to produce 1.2 decimeter cube of carbon dioxide gas at room condition? So, the question wants you to find the mass of calcium carbonate. Okay. This is calcium carbonate. Huh? So the one, the question wants you to find the mass of calcium carbonate, and the question give you the information 1.2 decimeter cube. Huh? From the unit, you will know that this is volume. Decimeter cube, huh? volume of carbon dioxide gas. Okay. Normally, this type of question will give you three marks. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how. We can get these three marks. Okay. First, since you are given the volume, so you have to find the number of mole eh, by using the formula volume over molar volume. Molar volume. And the, the volume now is 1.2. Eh, the unit is decimeter cube. And the molar volume is 24 and the unit is uh, decimeter cube so same unit okay so you divide then you get the number of mole 0 0.05 mole the unit is mole okay this one one mark okay then from equation uh, from equation okay let me write the equation first Calcium carbonate just now, when heated, produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. And from equation, we know that one more carbon dioxide eh, is produced by one more calcium carbonate. How do we know? Okay, from this balance equation, we know that this is one more Calcium carbonate produce one more calcium oxide and one more di carbon dioxide. So if one more carbon dioxide, it is produced by one more calcium carbonate. Therefore, in this reaction, we only use 0 0.05 more. It only produced 0 0.05 more carbon dioxide. So how many more of calcium carbonate needed? 0 0.05 because of the ratio 1 is to 1. Okay. Uh, so, the, this uh, step, you find the number of mole, 1 mark for this step. Okay. And the last step is, you convert from this number of mole by using, because the question wants you to find the mass, so you use the formula number of mole equals to mass over molar mass. Okay. Now number of mole is 0 0.05 then the mass equals to number of mole times molar mass. Number of mole is 0 0.05 and the molar mass of calcium carbonate. Eh? 
So you have to calculate the molar mass for calcium is 40, carbon is carbon is 12 and oxygen 16 times 3. 3 oxygen atom. Huh? And the answer is 0 0.05 times 40 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 equals to 5 and the unit for mass is 5 is gram and the answer give you 1 mark okay so 3 marks for this type of question okay second question zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid as follows eh? this is the equation zinc one mole of zinc react with two mole of hydrochloric acid produce one mole zinc chloride and one mole hydrogen gas. What is the mass? So the question wants you to calculate the mass of zinc. Yeah, this zinc. That should be used to produce 0 0.5 mole hydrogen gas. So the number of mole of hydrogen gas given now. 0 0.5 mole hydrogen gas. Okay, so if you compare from the first question just now, you don't have to calculate the number of mole here because given already. So this type of question uh, will give you two marks only. Eh? Okay, so you start with from equation. Means you need this equation. If the question didn't give you the equation, then you have to write the equation. A balanced chemical equation. So from equation, uh, one mole hydrogen gas is produced by one mole of zinc. So therefore, if 0 0.5 mole hydrogen gas means the number of mole of zinc is also 0 0.5 mole. So now you know the number of mole of zinc. This one is one mark. Next step is you convert from number of mole, you find the mass. So you know just now the number of mole is 0 0.5 mole. And this is number of mole of zinc. So uh, by using the formula number of mole equals to mass since you are going to find the mass. Mass over molar mass. Okay. The number of mole is 0 0.5. So what is the mass? Divide by molar mass of zinc is 65. So mass equals to 0 0.5 times 65 is 32.5 gram. Okay, this is one mark. Okay, next. A sample of iron trioxide is heated in a stream of excess hydrogen gas to produce 5.6 gram of iron metal according to the following equation. Uh, from this equation, we know that one mole iron trioxide react with 3 mole hydrogen gas to produce 2 mole of iron and 3 mole water. Calculate the mass of iron 3 oxide sample. Okay, so from this question, the information given is 5.6 gram of iron metal. Okay, so you use this information, find the number of mole of iron. Okay, since you are given mass, so you use the formula number of mole equals to mass over molar mass. Okay, and the mass is 5.6 gram divided by molar mass of iron is 56. It is 0 0.1 mole. Okay. Okay, this one is 1 mark. Okay, next, from equation, we know that uh, when 
2 mole of iron is produced uh, means it need 1 mole iron 3 oxide. Okay. So from equation Two mole iron is produced by one mole iron three oxide. Okay, therefore, if zero point one mole iron, uh, so what is the number of mole of iron three oxide? Zero point one divided by two times one uh, equals to. 0.05 mole iron trioxide. Okay, then find the mass of iron trioxide. Eh? So you use the formula number of mole equals to mass over molar mass. Okay, so mass over molar mass. And number of mole is 0.05 times molar mass of iron trioxide. 56 times 2 plus 16 times 3. Okay, so the mass is 0 0.05 times 56 times 2 plus 16 times 3 is 8 gram. And this is 1 mark. Okay, nitrogen and hydrogen gases react according to the following equation. So, from this equation, uh, given to you, 1 mole nitrogen gas react with 3 mole hydrogen gas to produce 2 mole ammonia. And H3 is ammonia. How many molecules of ammonia are produced if 6.72 decimeter cube of nitrogen gas at STP reacts completely with hydrogen gas. So from this question, the information given is the see more uh, the volume of nitrogen gas. How do we know volume? Because of the unit decimeter cube. Eh? So if you are given volume, so you use the formula for number of mole equals to volume over molar volume. And this molar volume is at STP. The volume given is 6.72 and molar volume at STP is 22.4 decimeter cube. Uh, so you get the number of mole is 0 0.3 mole. Okay, one mark for this step. And next is from equation... We know that 1 mole nitrogen gas will produce 2 mole ammonia. Okay. Okay, we know that from equation. One mole nitrogen gas will produce 2 mole ammonia. Okay, so therefore if 0 0.3 mole nitrogen gas it will produce 0 0.3 divided by 1 times 2 equals to 0 0.6 mole ammonia NH3 okay one mark for this and the last step is since the question wants to to find the number of particles so you use the formula for number of mole equals to number of particles over Avogadro Avogadro constant and so number of particles equals to number of moles 0 0.6 times Avogadro constant 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Uh, Avogadro constant is given in the question. Okay, so the answer is 3.612 times 10 to the power of 23 particles of ammonia. This is one mark. Okay, so that's all. Hope this video can help you to understand how to solve problems involving number of moles.